Why we're here today is very simple. Several weeks ago, Governor Snyder announced that he wanted a stay on refugees coming into Michigan. And since then, we've had a number of different governors around the United States expressing the same sentiment. This Islamophobia that was unleashed essentially because of a false report that it was because of the Syrian passport, which international investigators have proven is uh, a hoax and was used to create a divide between Muslims uh, and other Americans. Uh, this led to where we are at today. And it has fed into Donald Trump's rhetoric and it began here in Michigan. And now what we're seeing is that there is a concerted effort in the state senate uh, where they are now blaming legal immigration for this problem for the problem of terrorism and for the problem of violence in the united states so we want to come here today to make it very clear the governor uh, through this trump snyder anti-immigration effort is responsible for unleashing the three-headed hound of Islamophobia, racism, and xenophobia. And we, the people, are now being left with the sole task, the sole Herculean task, of chaining that hound and putting it back in the cage. And we are unfortunately unarmed with the bully pulpit or the massive podium of those like Donald Trump and Governor Rick Snyder. But we are here to say this, we will not accept this in our state. We have so much to look forward to, but we will not accept Muslims or Arab Americans being scapegoated and blamed or the immigration policies in the United States being shut down because our governor is afraid. The fact of the matter is, is that there are five-year-old girls and their mothers who are trying to get into the United States right now. And if Governor Snyder and Donald Trump are more afraid of those little girls than they are of the people who are mentally ill and can legally purchase firearms, even though we all know they shouldn't, then we've got a real problem here in the United States.